What's going on everyone? Yes, today is another tour review and yes, the man that stands in front of you is Aaron Yeager from the epic anime slash manga Attack on Titan. Now this toy right here is actually made by Metacom Real Action Hero Line. So I'm going ahead and show you what this toy has to offer, the bad and the good. So right off the back, like always, let's jump into detail. So off the back that you can tell, this character really, really nails it. Um, they do, Metacom pretty much always nails a uh, anime character. Like I've yet seen an anime character that I've purchased and it doesn't look like the actual character from that particular anime or manga. They do such a great job and I'm always happy with the detail that they capture. So pretty much this figure is identical almost like small things here and there of course like the hands of course or just the build itself um he's on the same plane as a uh, Mikasa that I reviewed a while back which I would definitely say take a look at that review solely because certain things that I showed in the Mikasa review I won't be showing in the Jaeger review just because it's literally the same shit and I really don't want to go through all that stuff all over again so if you want to see like how the person or the character looks with their clothes and everything attached to them, feel free to look at the Mikasa review. Um, solely because with the Mikasa review, the 3D maneuver gear is very delicate. And I'm not about to mess around with the 3D maneuver gear on this figure just because I don't want nothing wrong to happen. Uh, I will be getting rid of this figure. I actually got rid of uh, Mikasa, so she's already been sold and gone, and it's probably going to be the same case with him. Uh, solely because once one character goes, I kind of have the tendency to get rid of everyone. I don't really like incomplete sets, and since she's gone, and she was the uh, the first batch of release figures, and he as well, uh, I don't have no purpose to want to have to find her again pay whatever the dollar amount to actually get her all over again to kind of start back over the collection so this is going to be a really really simple review and uh just showing you the character itself and the, the nice new things that this particular character comes with and solely this character so that is a full 360 of good old Aaron now jumping on to accessories these these are all the things that actually only comes with Aaron. It won't come with nobody else. It is solely a Aaron uh, feature. So first and foremost, if you're looking at Aaron right now, go ahead and focus for you. You can notice that his hair kind of has the whole, I just got out of bed look or the wind is blowing, whatever you want to call it. Well, this piece of hair is fit for several, for two expressions. So this is his standard expression, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and move this piece of hair off, which it splits directly up here. Let me come back so you can see it. It just comes off real simple. And then his plain hair, which is what you normally used to see in Aaron with, looks like that. And it's very seamless. Really, really good job. Metacom nails that whole part really well. You don't really see like uh, any space in things are solid so that looks really good all right so i'm gonna go ahead and pop this back off his face you just wiggle the ears a little bit and it'll come off it's held by three actually four pegs one in the lower part of the face two where the eyes will go and actually five a little block here and then the actual space for the hair so it's very very uh dead end. it's it's nice and solid it's, it's meant to hold now Change it to his glance face, which is one of his other accessories, where he's looking over to the side, and you actually see this particular look on the front of the box, where it's almost like he's glancing over and the wind is blowing, or he's like swinging from his 3D maneuver gear, so you got that going on. Go ahead and take this off one second, and I'm going to swap out with the very last face, which is the angry face. And this is probably by far my most favorite face out of all of them. Um, this is also one of the faces that's exclusive 
So this is what comes with um, this particular first releases that you will get. You get like the pissed off Aaron. And there's a reason for that, which I'm about to show you right now. So Aaron comes with this face because he has one hand that is set by itself solely meant for this particular expression, which is, let me go ahead and it's for y'all. Which is the bit hand, where he bites his hand and transforms into a titan. So, this hand is solely meant for that face. And the way it's set up is you pretty much, I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick. Alright. You pose and make it where it looks like Aaron is taking a bite out of his hand to transform. Which... It's really neat little thing here. Now, I will say getting him to keep his hand close to his mouth can be difficult due to his jacket. And I'll show you also what kind of holds that back. But you can use the illusion of giving him a nice angle with the camera that almost make looking like he's biting it. Or you can lift up the hand slightly and it'll give a look as if he's biting on his hand. So that's why that hand exists and that's why that face exists, which is really, really nice. It can capture some really great photos. Um, now, moving along, you're gonna get that hand. You're gonna get the relaxed hand that you've seen him currently with. Let me go ahead and refocus. Which is really nicely sculpted. I will say between this character, um, Jojo Bizarre Adventure, which is Jojo, and um, Berserk has to have by far some of the, my favorite hand sculpts. Like they're really, really nicely clean. The hand looks real, or I ain't gonna say necessarily real, but it looks proportionate. Like it doesn't look lazy sculpted. Like it looks really, really nice. So you get a ball fist, you get a set of those. So you get two ball fists, two relaxed hands that you just seen, and you're gonna get two sword hands. Which is like that, which is also very nicely sculpted. You can see the fingernail bedding. Like really, really good job on the sculpting. Alright? So the last but not least accessory that's solely made for Aaron, you get his key to his car. No, no, real shit, you actually get some key that goes to like his father's like study or some shit that's in the story. I, I actually stopped and didn't read the books just because I didn't really dig the art. So I kind of like stopped at the anime and left it at that. I heard they probably be making more so I might check it out then, but this key goes to some door that pulls a tale certain secret. So However that goes, I'll find out eventually what the key is technically meant for. And I know some of y'all probably already know what the key is meant for if y'all follow the book. So, yes, you get this key which comes with it, which is really nicely done. Um, can you put this around his neck? You probably can. If you do, I, I personally would say be super, super careful. Uh, his head don't seem to pop off like most of the other figures. It seems like it's really really tucked in good so the only way you can really get that around his neck is if you untie that which i highly doubt you probably want to do but you can untie it and then fasten it around his neck but then you're gonna have to think about how you plan on getting that shit off after the fact so i would probably just leave it be leave it alone it'll just be a nice accessory for him to hold or something of that nature now the last accessories which also comes with mikasa levy Armin and I forgot the other lady that's actually in the anime uh, which is always going to be the 3D maneuver gear so I'm going to go ahead and zoom up real quick for the people that haven't seen this like I said I'm not going to take it out because I'm planning on getting rid of this so I want to make sure I send this to a person brand new as possible so you get three of these fake replaceable, replaceable blades where they only supposed to give the illusion as if he have a full stock of uh, swords being sheathed in his uh, 3D maneuver gear. So you're gonna get that. You're gonna get the part, the anchors that actually go into the side, inside buildings or inside the Titan itself. You get two of those and they're like hard plastic. So you, they can break if you attempt to like try to bend it or something of that nature, which you shouldn't. You're gonna get 
the 3D Maneuver gear itself. Uh, once again, if you haven't seen my other review, trust me, this thing is very delicate. I learned my lesson twice. Luckily, when it broke, it was clean breaks, so I was able to fix it. Wasn't no cracks being shown. Everything was perfect. It just was like the glue unfastened itself. Luckily, that happened versus something actually damaging and falling apart on me. So be super careful if you get this figure not to damage that aspect like I did. Uh, you're going to get two blades, of course, that you can see. And then you're going to get their actual uh, mantle that uh, come with it as well. So that is all of the accessories of good old Aaron. Now, moving along from that, as for articulation, I'm not going to go through all that because, like I said, you can look at the Mikasa. I keep saying it just because I just want to make sure y'all go check that out instead of um, wasting your time looking at that aspect. But I am about to go over what's different about him versus the Mikasa figure. So right off the jump, this right here is a, kind of like a tough rubber. Same way they use it on the Berserk figure, same way they use it on the um, JoJo figure. So this is actually soft rubber and it kind of gives that seamless look where it doesn't have like uh, any type of lines or anything of that nature. As for his shirt, his shirt is designed strictly for him. This, these pieces of string you see, nice part is you don't have to worry about this coming unfastened. It's actually glued down to the shirt. So it's still real fabric, but it's just held in place so it won't come unravel, which is really nicely done. Um, other than that, that is the only two things that's different from him from the Mikasa figure that I looked at. He actually um, has his own shirt, of course, and the factor of a rubber neck. So that is all. So I will go ahead and say that's a wrap up there. I know it was a really quick review because it wasn't too much for me to have to really go over. But I hope that was very informative of, of, of me helping y'all out. And I hope y'all enjoyed the review. Uh, I am going to jump into some other reviews. Oh, last but not least, let me go ahead and show you a high comparison. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Let me move back real quick. So, oh, quick height comparison. You have Play Arts Kai Snake, which I think is like 11 inches tall if I'm not wrong, or like 10 and a half or some shit like that. I think it's 11 inches. I'm pretty sure it's 11 inches. And then you have a Figma figure. So let me go ahead and look down. That is the height of Aaron. So he is a 12 inch figure, exactly 12 inches tall. But that is all. So please stay tuned to my channel. I got three more reviews coming up. I got that Ghost in the Shell figure that you see I will be reviewing. And two other figures I think y'all are really going to enjoy that I'm reviewing. So, collectors, please continue to collect. Please continue to share. And uh, y'all have a great night. Take care.